Hello, so we're going to disgorge today, and that's just kind of the removal of the yeast. You can see um, some of these bottles are now sitting in a, a neck chiller, which is um, a propylene glycol solution that freezes the wine as well as my yeast plug that has settled into the cap. And now I'm just going to decap that sparkling wine and just with the natural pressures in that wine it's going to shoot that yeast plug out as well as that ice plug that froze that yeast plug. So let me give you a, a visual. And now hopefully having brilliant clean sparkling wine all yeast removed from just that disgorging or the decapping, removal of the yeast. Now coming over to here, I'll put it on my Dosana, which is kind of the finishing product of any sparkling wine, where it's in simpler terms a balancing act, where you're introducing a little bit more sugar for a residual sugar product, whether you want a dry sparkling wine or a sweet sparkling wine, as well as balancing out those higher acids in that base wine. Your, your start of your, um, your base wine that's been aging on its yeast for m many years. What we're doing here today is a 99 group, which is an extended tirage. It's seen 10 years of yeast time and now just finally being disgorged, finally riddled on my riddling racks and um, frozen in my neck chiller and now remove that, that yeast and now with a simple turn, turn of this wheel, it's gonna dose at one bottle, just a little bit of sugar. Um, it's a, called a dosage, a liqueur, um, which will, in simpler terms, about two thirds sugar to about one third wine. Uh, here we have the luxury of kind of doing dosage trials and picking whatever wine complements that base wine. It's, it's kind of, like I said, that balancing act, but um, it can really change that wine whether uh, what you need. It's not gonna make your base wine a great wine. Either way, you still have to have a great base wine to begin, but it's gonna finish it off with that residual sugar, just kind of balance out the, maybe that bitterness from the acid. So after it's dosed, it will then come over here to be topped up. And then after it's topped, it will be corked, which cut. 